Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Today, we're going to be talking about making a time log using Evernote. So where does your time go? Well, that's the question that time management experts ask their clients and followers, and it's the question that we ask ourselves. Well, keeping a time log is a common tool for answering that question. The idea is every 10 or 15 minutes, you write down what you're doing. And over time, the data reveals how you spend your days. But exactly how and where would you record these entries through the day? Well, this video provides an easy answer. And that answer is free and uses the smartphone or smart speaker that you have already. OK, Google, Frank's Journal demonstrating a time log for YouTube. OK, Frank, I'll add this to your journal. And it's done. It's as easy as that. So here's how we go about creating the time log in Evernote. We're going to start by going into Evernote and we're going to create a new note. This note is going to house our time log or journal or whatever we want it to be called. So I'm going to say create a new note. Give it any title that you want. For example, I might, I'm just going to call this a uh, sample journal so that I don't get it mixed up with my real one. And then over time, all of our entries are going to appear here. And then just simply pick a notebook for it. I'm going to leave it in the inbox for right now because, again, this is just a sample. But decide where you want this note to live and put it in the appropriate notebook, and you're done with that part. Now we're going to come over to if this, then that. If you don't already have an account, go to ifttt.com, which stands for if this, then that. Create a free account. So if you already have an account, an account, come on over. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new applet. And we're going to be using Google Assistant and Evernote. That if I do a certain thing on Google Assistant, then it's going to do something in Evernote. So first, let's build the if this part. Now, you notice when I gave you that example that I said, OK, Google, followed by something. So as you might expect, our if part is going to be Google Assistant. So let me search for Google Assistant here as the service that we're going to use for if. Here I have four choices, and the one that I want is say a phrase with a text ingredient. Remember when I gave you that example and I said, okay, Google, and then I said Frank's journal followed by something else? Well, that Frank's journal, that's the trigger that Google Assistant is looking for, and then whatever comes after that is what's going to go into the time log. So let's click on that, and since we selected the thing that we did, we now have the appropriate fields that we can fill in. What do you want to say? Remember I said Frank's journal followed by what I wanted to go in the journal. So first we're going to type that thing that Google Assistant is listening for. Maybe yours says, maybe yours is going to say uh, Joe's time log. And then we're going to put a dollar sign. That is telling Google Assistant that, that something's coming after Joe's time log. And whatever that dollar sign is, is going to be the ingredient that goes into Evernote. What's another way to say it? Well, this is optional. If you thought you might mess up and forget to say Joe's time log, and you might just simply say time log, Again, by the dollar sign. The dollar sign is incredibly important. It's not going to accept it, actually, unless you have that. And then what do you want to, the Google Assistant to say in response? Notice that mine said, OK, Frank, I'll add that to your journal. Uh, it could be anything you wanted. OK, I'll add it, whatever you wanted. And English is going to be the language. We click trigger and that part of it's done. So that's the Google Assistant part of it. Now that is going to be Evernote. Let me search for it. I've got several options and here's the one I want, a pinned 
to note. I don't want to create a new note every time I add something to this time log. I want to have that one note that's the time log and I want to add to the bottom of it each time. So append to note. Okay, so here are our fields. And this first one is important. What is the title of the note that you created? Okay, that's important. If you get this wrong and you make a mistake, it's going to create a note and put the stuff in it. So you want to make sure that you have the right thing here. Also, what notebook did you put it in? If you get the title right and you get the notebook wrong, then it's going to create a new note by the title you give it in some other notebook. So be sure that you get the title of the note correct and the title of the notebook correct. Now for the body. This is the text that's going to be added to that note. This is going to be the uh, OK Google sample journal phone call with Matt. Phone call with Matt is going to be the text field. Now, I want to add something to that. I don't just want phone call with Matt to be in the note. I also want to know exactly when did that happen. I want to know the date and the time. I click add ingredient. I'm going to click right before see that, and say, created at. So it's going to give me a date and time stamp followed by the thing that I wanted it to say. Now for my own, just to make things look good, I wanted to have the date and time bolded so I can use a little HTML code. I'm going to say bracket B. I'm going to put the bracket there. And then afterwards, let's close that tag. bracket slash B and close the tag. Close that. That's going to give it to me. I'm going to say create action. All right. Now I want to slide this off. I don't want to get a notification every time that's happened and then I'll click finish. Let's test this and see if it works. Okay, Google Joe's time log. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'll add it. Okay, I'll add it. Let's see if it did. Here you see the results. I'm in my inbox, a note called sample journal. That's what we created earlier. And look what has been placed in there. Here's the date and time stamp of when I invoked that particular command. And then here's the dollar sign. Here's the thing that I wanted to go into this journal. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is I want to have a little space between the two. So I would return to if this, then that, go back to that applet, pull the settings up and just insert a little space in there and resave it. And what's going to happen when you add something else? It'll simply be appended to the bottom. So you're going to have one entry after another. And all you have to do is just talk to your phone. Nothing could be easier than that. After a while, that list will start to get long. So here's what I do. At the end of every month, I copy and paste all of those entries from that note into another note. In my journal, I have a note for every month. So you'll see a note called January 2020, February 2020, et cetera. Just create a new note, paste, and then just delete from my journal uh, all of the entries in there. So at the beginning of every month, I get to start fresh. When a time log fails, it's generally because it's cumbersome. It means carrying around a chart and writing down activities. But with this simple technique, you simply talk about what you're doing as you're doing it and let the automation handle the rest through your trusty little phone and Google Assistant, if this, then that, right into Evernote. Hey, if you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel? Here are a couple of other videos that you can check out and have a look at all the videos on my channel. I'm sure you'll find something that's going to help your productivity go up and your stress go down. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.